Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Hi Coco, are you good? I just put a bunch of face serums on, so I'm sorry that my face is so shiny, but it's very dry out for some reason. Hi guys, I'm Kinsey. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I post a bunch of lifestyle videos and vlogs. I'm currently in Vlogmas, so this whole everyday uploading thing until Christmas is going on on the channel. Also, I want to say thank you to Express for partnering with me on this video. We're going to be doing a little fun Q&A slash at the beginning. I'm going to show you guys a few pieces. I'm actually going to New York this weekend. As I'm filming this, you guys will see all the vlogs. Don't worry, I'm taking you with. It'll also be all over my Instagram, so follow me there as well. But I picked up some pieces for my New York trip that I wanted to show you guys because I'm so excited for them. Um, so this is all from Express. Express is super affordable. Okay, I said this actually last time I showed you guys my Express stuff last month, and I love the pajamas. I actually got another pair of pajamas bottoms. But Express just has really cool pieces. I have this really awesome coat there that I got in my last haul. I will link that video down below with like blue faux fur sleeves. That's just so cool. Express is really great. Has really, really good price points for the quality and like what it is, and it's just the best. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have all these linked down below. So the first thing I got are these Express Tech Gloves. Um, I think these are so important because I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas stuff with a bunch of friends and I need some nice tech gloves. So these are just really cute black, love them. Then I got a black beanie that I cannot put on because I have my hair up, but this black beanie, which I definitely will be needing. Okay, these are not necessarily for the New York trip, but they just had these Hanes by Carla. Um, white t-shirt. So this is like a white tank top. I just wanted to throw this on over like leggings and a sports bar when I work out. Then I got just a white Hanes t-shirt because you can never have enough um, white t-shirts. And then I got a white cross t-shirt. So that was amazing. Okay, I got this black sweater that I thought was super, super cute. So really, really big. I'll definitely be wearing this in New York. Would this be called a turtleneck? It's not a turtleneck. Like what kind of Comment down below what this would be called. Like a very big, you know what I'm saying? Um, but this just really cute black sweater that's so soft. And the thing I will say about this sweater that I love the most is that it's actually really soft. I feel like some sweaters like this can get like a little itchy or like uncomfortable or whatever. This sweater is actually so soft, so I love it. This is something I'm most excited for. If you guys have watched my videos, you guys know that I freaking love outerwear. It's my favorite thing to buy. I'm just so obsessed with it. Look at this coat. Is this not incredible? I wish that I had on like white pants and white shoes to wear with it because oh my gosh guys I cannot wait for my Instagrams in this. I just think it's the most beautiful coat I've ever seen in my entire life. Like guys it's so cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm 100% gonna be wearing that in New York. And then we have this little black jacket as well that I think is so cute like kind of like a black pea coat kind of with like some zip ups we've got some zipper action in there um it's really thick it's just really really great quality it's just really important to have like a nice quality black jacket I honestly forgot that I ordered this and I was thinking yesterday about how about I needed one and then I remembered that this order was coming so my day isn't made anyways I just think this is so classic just like a great piece. Okay, so guys, I'm literally changing into these right after I finish filming this video. So I just have these silk little pajama bottoms that I think are so pretty. Um, they're a nice cream color and then they have some like blush champagne-y um, color detailing and I just think that they're like the cutest things ever and I love them. I love pajamas. Okay, I got a scarf. The scarf is so warm and so comfy. Um, it's just like literally the softest thing ever and I'm definitely going to be needing this in New York So I'm very glad and I just love it. I think it's super super cute This is just a really simple black sweater I can layer this if I want to like put way more layers on or if I want to just be able to wear this like in LA I can this is just kind of like a classic love the sleeves Love a good long sleeve moment. This is what I'm second most excited for in the haul I cannot wait to wear this so guys look at this top is this top not absolutely incredible? Like, wow. Would you just look at that? Guys, it's so freaking cute. And the quality is amazing. It's like unmatched. I don't even, it's just so freaking cute. Um, I got it in a size small. I really am just so excited to wear this. Like, 
I know obviously this is not very warm, but still I'm just gonna be wearing this whenever I can take off my coat and stuff because I just think it's super cute. So very pumped for that. The last thing I got, which I thought these would be great actually to wear as like pajamas if I'm really cold, uh, these express little like joggers. I got a size medium for reference. I probably should have gotten a size small, but I like this stuff oversized. So I'm not mad that I got a medium, but I probably would have gotten a small if that means anything to you guys. But so freaking soft and warm. Like seriously, I'm gonna be living in these this winter, especially winter break. These are absolutely perfect. So if any of you guys are looking for, honestly, legit anything, gift ideas, like any sort of gift guides, um, just comfy clothes to wear, great clothes for like holiday parties, for class, for work, whatever, you can get everything at Express. I will have all of my items linked down below, but also like if you check out the entire site, they have such amazing stuff. I'm their biggest fan and I love them. So I will have again, everything linked down below. Thank you to Express for sponsoring this video. So now we're going to get into some fun questions. I feel like I've been filming so much lately, but haven't really sat down and just caught up and answered questions as of lately. So that's what we're gonna be doing for the next few minutes. Can't wait. Will you ever move to New York? I don't see myself like full-time living in New York, but I definitely would want to like live there for extended periods of time, if that makes sense. Like I would definitely do like a few months there. Um, or if I ever worked on like a project or did something for work where I needed to be in New York, I would not be mad. But I don't really want to like move there full time, but I'm more than happy to like live there for extended periods of time. How did you come up with that amazing cold brew? Okay, the cold brew that we're talking, that they're referencing, I did not come up with that. Morgan Yates came up with that. It's the vanilla sweet cream cold brew from Starbucks, but instead of vanilla, it's peppermint syrup. So if you were to order it, say, I would like please, hi, be nice to the person, the barista. Um, just order a vanilla sweet cream cold brew, no vanilla syrup, yes to peppermint syrup, and that's it. It's really good, I didn't come up with it, Morgan did, but you guys have been going crazy about them. Please do Coco merch. That's actually not a bad idea. I've always kind of thought about it, but I don't know, maybe I will. Which devotional are you reading right now? I actually just started reading Chelsea Crockett's. Um, I'm literally on day two today. Cause I was finishing up my last one and now I'm on Chelsea's. It's great, big fan. How did you meet your boyfriend? So we had been friends for since la almost two years now. We had like known each other, we went to the same program together. Like, co we went to college together essentially. And then we go to the same church, which is like the same thing. And um, yeah, that's how we met. But we just like, we're always like friends, but not like BFFs hang out every day. And then we just, started hanging out and then started dating. Someone's like, I'm confused you say you have a roommate, but like where is your room in your house, lol. This is a three bedroom house and it technically could be a four bedroom house, but like I just don't, like I get questions all the time about like vlogging with my roommate and stuff. And like, I, I just don't think people realize like how weird that can be. Like if someone is at their house, like imagine if you're home and then someone's just like filming you to put it on YouTube. Like it's just kind of weird, like they didn't sign up for that and like it's not that like my roommate is legit the best person ever and she's such a great roommate, but it's not that like she would even be against it. It's just like you have to respect that people are like at home. It makes sense, like I feel like, I don't know. It's just so different, like obviously when you live with YouTubers it's like totally different, but like they don't voluntarily like vlog their lives for YouTube. So it's just like a little bit different, you know? People keep asking a lot of questions about like when did you know you were like financially stable? Like how are you financially stable? At what point did you start making a lot of money? Blah, blah, blah. Or like, you don't have that many followers. How are you maintaining this lifestyle? Um, I don't think people realize that you don't have to have like a million subscribers to be like financially stable on YouTube. Honestly, there's a lot of money in like the micro influencer world where I don't even know what qualifies you as a micro influencer. A certain, like basically you're like middle tier. You're not like a super small channel, but you're not like in the millions. Um, I think, I don't even know, maybe that isn't a micro influencer. Anyways, yeah, like you can still make like very good money. Um, and I think it's also about like just being very smart about like your brand and what you're doing and what companies you promote and stuff. But I've been making money for a while and been fine. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that, but I think people get confused because I don't have like millions of like followers and I'm not like this millionaire by any means, like at all. But like you can make good money, you know? Best tips for eating healthy while dating slash going out. I don't really go out, so I don't have that issue, but I think if you're, oh, you probably meant like going out to eat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one you meant, but either way, like I think if you're going anywhere, 
knowing ahead of time what you're gonna order is really helpful like if you look at the menu and you're like really trying to stay crazy healthy I've not been the healthiest I'm like when I get back from winter break, going full force, I have to because we're doing this fast, but like full force back into eating healthy. Um, but knowing what you're gonna get ahead of time so that you know that there's an option and honestly like eating at home. Like we, I'm literally after this gonna go make dinner and it's like salmon, vegetables, and sweet potatoes every single day. With like tahini, it's just so freaking good. Nutritional yeast, like. Oh, that's my face. I actually vlogged. I'll vlog it and show you guys in like a past vlog. But yeah, that's just what we do. Or what I do to say eating healthy. I literally cannot speak tonight. What was your confidence like in your teens? How has it changed? P.S. Love your videos so much. Thank you. I feel like in some ways I'm like less confident. <laughs> and then in some ways I'm more confident if that makes any sense. Like I think... There's an element of being younger, which I'm like still very young, that you just like think you can do anything and you have this like naive confidence, which I definitely have. And then uh, I also think like in other ways I'm sure I'm more confident. I feel like I actually cared less about what people thought about me when I was younger than I do now, which I don't, or than I have like lately at least, I've gotten better about it. Um, but yeah, I feel like I was oddly maybe more confident when I was younger-ish. I think I'm more comfortable now with myself but like I don't know would you and Q ever move in together or will you wait until marriage to live with the spouse yeah I get this question legit all the time um we are both waiting to live with the spouse like neither of us would move in together so yeah no we will not be moving in together I like I don't know I just yeah <laughs> that's why I say okay how to balance paper and digital planners at the same time. So I actually have been full time, full time, I'm like a full time digital planner. I've been using my digital planner like fully this year, but I actually just got the passion planner daily planner. I got an email that it's on its way today. I'm really excited and I feel like I'll pair both of those together. So I will, if I like it all of it, which I love passion planner, I'll probably be making videos about it in January. So let's see then. But as of right now, I've just only been using Google Calendar. When do you graduate? Um, so I need to actually take 18 credits this spring semester and then nine in the summer to graduate, which I can do. We separate our stuff into sessions anyway, so honestly, it's like not gonna be the worst thing ever. But yeah, so I, bas I basically, so I graduate um, end of next summer, hopefully. Unless something happens, like worst case scenario, fall, but as of right now, I'm graduating end of summer. What makes you feel empowered? I think I feel the most empowered when I like kind of have a day to myself, maybe? No, I don't know. That's not really, I, here's a few things that make me feel empowered. Working out, um, having like a really good day in the studio where I had like a really great conversation and I'm just like really like inspired and motivated. Yeah, actually, I think those are my answers. Reading, a lot of my reading makes me feel empowered. All of my relationships make me feel empowered. That kind of goes without saying, but yeah. Do you ever get bored of filming routines, vlogs, etc.? Honestly, no. And I know people are like, oh, I don't want to keep making the same videos as everyone else and whatever. But like, I feel like I actually love making the videos that I make. And I'm sure I'll branch out. Like, I have a lot of ideas for other things that I want to do. But like, I feel like trying to be different for the sake of being different is like really like inauthentic. If that makes any sense. Like, I actually love the videos that I do. That's not really even the question. Tangent. I think that it's just kind of like, when people are like, oh, I, I don't know, like, I totally understand the thing of, like, wanting to stand out and be different and stuff, but, like, if that's your only motive and you're just gonna start making videos that you don't really want to make, it's, like, not really worth it. I actually love the videos. I don't really get bored. I definitely like making, filming vlogs better than I like doing, like, sit-down videos and, like, routines more and stuff like that. But that's more so because I just don't have as much time to do that. So, like, once I graduate, I'm excited to, like, you know, do better video-wise. But, yeah. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below what time it is where you guys are watching. Also, don't forget to check out all of the Express clothes that I showed you guys in the haul. Everything will be linked down below. Thank you again to Express for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys so much. I had a great time just chatting, catching up with you, seeing how life is. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon.